Some manufacturers already produce AM receivers with a bandwidth of 6 kHz because they are also designed to receive AM stereo transmissions, such as the Motorola Stereo System CQAM, which stands for Compatible Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, currently being used in the USA, Canada and Australia. There is no world standard for AM stereo, but Britain will probably be the first in Europe to adopt a system following tests now underway at our Foxhall Heath transmitter near Ipswich, on behalf of the Association of Independent Radio Contractors. Early indications suggest that CQAM stereo is entirely compatible with mono equipment, and while the audio quality and interference immunity cannot be as high as for VHF FM, the addition of stereo is a worthwhile benefit, at least in the main service area of a medium wave transmitter. With about 20 million decoder chips supplied worldwide by Motorola and around 575 USA stations already using CQAM, the IBA is now liaising with UK receiver manufacturers in preparation for its introduction into the UK. Like the Powell television system, AM stereo is a good example of multiplexing another channel by using quadrature modulation along with the original one in order to transmit additional information within the existing bandwidth. CQAM uses two RF signals on the same frequency, phase shifted by 90 degrees relative to one another. The mono or left plus right audio amplitude modulates the normal carrier while the quadrature signal conveys the left minus right information. A receiver having a synchronous detector is able to resolve these signals and extract the two different modulating components. But the main problem with ordinary quadrature modulation for carrying AM stereo information is mono compatibility. Whenever stereo information is present, the normal carrier will also be phase modulated. The result is that on mono receivers, using envelope detection, there are amplitude changes or distortion which increases with the stereo content. Motorola have tackled this problem by multiplying both the amplitude and quadrature modulation with a correction factor, and this is achieved by first phase modulating the RF carrier signal. In the CQAM encoder, the left plus right and left minus right components are connected to two balanced modulators fed with RF signals 90 degrees out of phase. The output of the summing network is a pure quadrature AM stereo signal. This then passes through a limiter which removes the amplitude components and the remaining phase modulated sidebands are fed to the transmitter as the RF carrier drive signal. The left plus right component is used for conventional amplitude modulation, making this system compatible with existing receivers. The tests at Foxhall Heath have not so far highlighted any significant problems with CQAM, and subject to government approval, AM stereo could be introduced on a number of ILR medium wave services by the end of this year.